my goodness. Hello. I am exhausted. I was originally going to do really fancy editing for this video and I was going to have a whole script that I read off of so that I had something to talk about. But uh, that's not what we're doing today. Today is a speed paint and I am just going to talk about whatever is the first thing that comes to my mind because I just finished this painting right here and I love it. I'm very proud of it, but it's huge. It's literally almost the height of me. I don't remember the exact dimensions. I already gave it to my grandfather, but I'm burnt out. I don't feel like editing this video. I don't feel like writing a script. I'm exhausted. So you're getting just a sped up version of me painting, which, you know, isn't that bad. So I wanted to do one of those like negative painting type things where you start off with the dark and it would be opposite if you were doing watercolor, like you start off with the light and slowly go darker. But I did jelly gouache because I didn't feel like mapping out all the different leaves. I just wanted to put paint to paper. So I was going in, I had the black background and then I added the brown um, branches and doing this actually extremely helped me with my big painting for my grandfather of doing the faraway trees which you wouldn't think it would because they have nothing to do with each other but it really helped to just do this sloppily and not have to really worry about it it actually made the big house painting way easier so yeah, anyway, I just went in with lighter and lighter colors and then I realized the black dried was actually really, really streaky and I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to freak out. I was like, oh my gosh, I thought that I'd have enough leaves to cover this, but I don't because you can tell. So later I do go in with a black paint and go over the streakiness because it is just so obvious that there is streakiness right down the center and I am mad at myself for not doing a second coat. But, you know, you live and you learn, and it's a sketchbook. I can do whatever I want in my sketchbook, and if it sucks, it sucks, because it's a piece of paper in, like, a $20 book that has a million pages, and this one page is probably worth, like, two cents. So, it's a sketchbook. I can do what I want. That's what I have to keep telling myself, because I have 14 spreads left in this sketchbook. And I am so ready to be over it. I, I want to be done with it. I've never finished a sketchbook before and I'm so close yet so far and I don't want to call it quits on this sketchbook. So I really want to finish these last 14 spreads so I can move on to my new Mossery sketchbook that my husband got me for Christmas, my birthday, one of the two. But listen, all I want to do is move on to my new sketchbook. So I have to hurry up and I'm trying to finish these spreads. So I wanted to do something low effort and this felt like it would be low effort, but it wasn't as low effort as I thought it would be. Cause there's a lot of different greens and a lot of different shades and I don't know. It wasn't that bad. It was just mark making and it was easy and I enjoyed it. And yeah, but it took like two days. I was working on this for two days. It's like an hour long of painting, which I guess isn't a lot, but for a sketchbook page, an hour, and I have 14 spreads left, which is 28. I don't want to take the next 28 hours to finish the sketchbook. I want to be done with it. I don't want to take an hour a page. <sighs> okay, rent over. Anyway, here's the flowers, which I was also having trouble with doing just because gouache and the only good flowers I've really done are in oil and watercolor, but they're not, you know, they're not horrible. They just, they could have been better. And I know that, but sketchbook page. It's a sketchbook page. And I have to keep telling myself it's a sketchbook page. Not everything has to be perfect. And it's like, I know I'm doing a sketchbook tour with this sketchbook once I'm done with it. So I think I put more pressure on because I'm like, everyone's sketchbook is so pretty. I have to have pretty pieces, but that's just not realistic. Sometimes things turn out bad and I have to keep telling myself that. And that's just a sketchbook. This one page is worth like two cents. It's just a sketchbook. That's it. It's not a canvas. I'm not wasting material. I'm not wasting my time. It's just, ugh. It can get frustrating. Anyway, I am so tired. My brain is literal mush. 
I am exhausted. Um, here I am doing the flowers. I was going to add little yellow centers, but I had this brush and it's a little bit too thick, so I didn't feel like it. All in all, it was a low effort painting that still took forever because I just don't know how to do things as quickly as I would like. But I think it turned out cute. I mean, on its own, it's okay, but it's actually on an all green spread. And if you want to see the all green spread, go check out my Instagram. Uh, it's KVW Art. Um, and it's an all green spread and it's really, really cute. And I drew a cute little froggy character and I love it. And there's like a, I think it's a matcha tea. I don't know. I just drew the picture off Pinterest, but here I am peeling the tape and it's sideways because I originally fil filmed this for a reel and a YouTube short, but I also wanted to add it here because I can't resist tape peeling. And this is one of the most satisfying tape peeling videos I have ever done. There were, there was just like, uh, I guess because it was the black against the white. It was just so crisp and look at it. Oh my gosh. It's just like, oh, uh. anyway. Yeah, that's probably the most even I've ever pulled off tape in my entire life. It always seems to like either tear up the page or pull at like the painting. And I don't know. It, I'm not making much sense, but yeah. So here's the last peel and it looks so good. I'm so proud of it. And then you're about to get a zoom in after I throw the tape away because I guess I didn't. I don't know. It's been an off week. Here you go. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.